Friends, this is Baby's first reaction video. I'm so excited. I have not watched the Chicago movie musical in 21 years. I now work on Broadway. Like, are there gonna be any humans in this that I know? Are there any dancers from the B-Way that I know? I don't know. Is it gonna be like as fierce as I thought it was back in 2002 when I was in seventh grade? Probably. All right, you ready? Let's go. Oh, we start with just the eyeballs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that was a hot transition from the iris of the eyeball. Like, we still get the overture. Ooh, but we're about to meet Catherine Zeta Jones. The clicky clack of her on the sidewalk. It's winter time. We know what season we're in. Oh, ripping off that poster. Ooh, got the bloody rag. We got the gun. Oh, and this sink is so perfectly grimy, this set dressing. Dude, this is so good. Hot. She looks great. Oh my god, Renee Zellweger looks perfect. Oh my god, the cigarette smoke is perfect. And then, ooh, ooh, mixing the cool tones that are on stage, like the purples and blues with the orange behind Roxy, behind Renee. Work! Work, babe! And like giving us the full song, but like keeping multiple storylines going at once. So smart. The level of detail is so good too. And plot forward, always, always, always. Hot. Oh, I just got chills, it's so good. Okay, we'll talk about this more, but like why aren't we as good at this? Like why? Like I know this one is exceptional, but we just, it also just like is so unabashedly a musical. Like Color Purple is beautiful, but it felt like it didn't really want to be a musical, but like it did want to be a musical, but it didn't know how to be a musical. Like, oh, we are just shot out of a cannon and we are like, everything is story driven. It's directed by a musical theater director. It's so good. When I think of what would have happened if I went out for a- Damn, we don't have to wait long for a song. It's nice. How many movies had Rob Marshall directed before this? Wow! Okay, so we're gonna roll through just a few of Rob's credits real quick. Okay, Broadway, Cabaret, Seussical, Director Uncredited. I feel like I need to watch a Wait in the Wings episode about this. Little Me, Cabaret, Co-Director and Choreographer. Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. So now this is all in Choreographer Land. Victor Victoria, Company, Damn Yankee, She Loves Me, Kiss of the Spider Woman, Additional Choreography. Ooh, we're getting now into like, okay, now we're in Performer Land. Edwin Drood, The Rink, these are dance captains, Zorba, and cats. He was a baby when he was on Broadway. I love this too. I love watching this trajectory. Additional choreography, musical staging, and then choreographer of the 94 Damn Yankees, which that choreo, it's great. Prior to Chicago, he had directed an episode of The Wonderful World of Disney and Kennedy Center Honors, and that was it. And then given a feature with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Renee Zellweger, which would never fucking happen now. Not given to a stage director, that's for fucking sure. But Into the Woods, which he did later, just didn't land for me. Like, I never wanted to rewatch that, which obviously, I haven't rewatched this enough. But it's, it's so much better. I feel like we've gotten too auto-tuned now. Like, I feel like we didn't even have the technology <laughs> to do some of the stuff that I hate in movie musicals now. Like, this isn't fancy. Oh God, that's so smart. They're both on stage. Ah, oh, that transition, are you kidding? Just unabashedly theatrical. When things feel more 2D and theatrical, they feel more human. It is so much more exciting. Give me Latifah. 
Whoever did the wigs is fabulous. You know, my young gay ass does remember the titties in the dress. Sorry. There's a lot of favorites. God in these costumes. Colleen Atwood. She did Little Women. And Edward Scissorhands. I mean, she's, wow. Love, what a queen. You a pretty one. <gasps> Gay. You put in for mama, she'll put out for you. The folks atop the ladder are the ones the world adores. So boost me up my ladder, kid, and I'll boost you up yours. Is mama screwing the people in the prison? See, when you encounter a movie for the first time when you're 12 years old, some things don't register. I was just like, oh, they pay off mama and she's good to them, which is true. There's an element of sex here though, right? Is there? Or is it just about power and like sex is about power? I'm feeling dumb. More questions. How old was Renee Zellweger? It's really cool like seeing people my age getting like the meatiest roles of their career like Emma Stone now. I'll, I'm watching my contemporaries stepping into their Meryl Streep era which is just like it's not like a promising young star anymore it's like people digging in. Oh I'm ready. Squish. Uh uh. Get the f out of here. And now, the six merry murderesses of the Cook County Jail in their Are you of kidding the cell. me? We're on a stage. Ah! Six squish. Oh, come on. This whole convention of like stage time, real life time works so beautifully. Work! Bitch. Single my ass. Not only was he married. This, this frame is so perfect. Half turn in front. Scarves. Work! I think I'm frightening my dog. Work, 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 ladies. Oh, I fully learned thisography. God, it's so simple and so effective. I mean, listen, not the bot and pancakes work, ladies, but like. I'm ready for it, dirty bum. Ooh. I forgot. I forgot. You've given me a pyramid? No, no, we're not. Oh, yeah, no, we are in a pyramid. Work. And the silhouettes in the back and the spotlights. Are you kidding? Legs. Legs. Full Fosse. I am livid. That is so good. That is so good. If a choreographer is a good director, there's nothing better. There just isn't. Which now I'm just gonna take a like moment to hype like a new friend that I have, Katie Spellman. I saw her choreography in Cabaret at Barrington Stage. She's choreographing, she's making her choreography choreographic debut with The Notebook on Broadway, but she's been the associate on Moulin Rouge and she's worked and worked and worked and worked. Her work is so good. And I know she's a director as well. I'm really excited for her career. Oh my God, I'm ready for Richard Gere. I even remember in 2002 being like, this is kind of a weird choice. And then I feel like Richard Gere retired for like 20 years. Honestly, I'm so glad we're out of musical theater land with this one, like, unless it's the ladies. Oh, but I do, oh, this is so good though. The car, wow. I kind of wish we had a musical theater star in that role. I mean, he's handsome. Oh, wow. Renee Selliger's physicality is so good. Wow, she's flexy, too. I'm ready for the slowdown break. Ah, oh, Christine Baranski. Oh, her little feet! A build. A build! This is genius. This is so good. 
I mean, this is a movie musical. We're flying now. Build, build, build. But we didn't just start at 100. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> Christ Christy Fransky just flies in. The milk joke. Come on. Come on! God, Renee Zellweger is a star in this. It also just tracks that like you'd want to use all the show busy tricks. I mean, it's a it's about showbiz. Like this whole mirror sequence, come on. And this costume is amazing. Again, Colleen Atwood, perfect. I'm also curious what the budget was for this. Catherine Zeta-Jones can dance. It's crazy, this was 10 years before I saw her in Night Music on Broadway, which felt not like this. Maybe I just needed her in like a showbiz role. You know what I mean? Like a little more razzmatazz. It does feel like there should be a little homoerotic something between Roxy and Velma, and I'm like not really feeling that from Renee Zellweger. The other thing I'm loving is like the choice of silence in scenes, like the moments that aren't underscored. I feel like it's really hard nowadays. Well, John C. Riley really is charming. Underscoring's hard to get right. I feel like people either overdo it or don't know how to do it, and it's just like, you know, threading that needle. Yeah, I think Jacob Yandura's work in Ohio, that's like one of the things he's doing best. Oh, Hunyak's now gonna die. Oof. With a whole audience. So smart to stage it this way. Oof. Richard Gere isn't bad. He's just not great. And in a movie where you have people who are just like, punching above their weight, just like Renee Zellweger at the top of her game, Sorry, I got distracted by the movie. Catherine Zeta-Jones at the top of her game, like John C. Riley at the top of his game, and then these true like dancer musical theater pros, he just doesn't hold up. Like he's fine. And I can like hear the conversation. You know, Richard Gere, he's actually got a nice voice. You know? And listen, I love him. Once we're in the courtroom, there's some nice chunks without musical numbers here. But the pacing doesn't slow too much. Even awaiting the verdict for Roxy, the camera dances kind of the entire time. In comes the next star, gotta get into nowadays. And we get the Chicago Theater. No way did they actually film this in Chicago, I would die. Oh, fun! Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous them rising up. Oh. Do I even have to say it? These costumes? A oh, slow turn over the shoulder, women. Yes. You can bet your sweet ass these two actual actresses in their 30s, too, were like, I'm the best star, you know, I'm the best star. And I love musical theater. This is so dumb. It's a musical about murderers. Costume reveal, costume reveal. Come on, ladies. Yes, yes, yes. Ha ha di rag! They, they really move so differently, too. Catherine moves like a dancer. But Renee is just so spindly. But Catherine's like killing it. Ah, work. Oh my god, that hot toss is perfect. with machine guns makes me mighty uncomfy. I wonder if they both did those cartwheels. Do you think I liked it? Do you think I liked the movie? Do you think I feel like it held up? Oh my god, and Queen Latifah just looking like a butch queen in this? Ooh, okay, wasn't living for that shaky camera. Nope, this is like the one chance that I don't abide by. I get it, it's fervor. Ooh, I do not like that. Okay, I didn't love the final shots, but damn. Awards. Accolades. Holds up. More, please. I, I don't need to tell you this, but um, Chicago is amazing. 400 out of 10 recommend. 
what movie musical do you think that I should do next? There's so many that I haven't seen. Like this and Moulin Rouge are the two that happened when I was in like middle school that I haven't revisited since. I want to do The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. That's like a classic that I have not seen. Are you as big of a fan of Chicago as I am? Because I was just floored. I thought it was amazing. Thank you so much for watching this wild, wonderful reaction video. I'm so glad that I got to revisit this and I'm excited for the next one. If you enjoyed this video, giving it a thumbs up is the surest way to make sure that the algorithm knows what wonderful humans like yourself to send this video out to. Thank you so much for watching. I invite you to subscribe, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Katherine Quinn, and I'll see you next time. Bye.